The latest buzz in Formula 1 revolves around Mick Schumacher and his recent snub by the Williams Racing Team. As tensions rise and speculation swirls, it's become evident that Schumacher, despite being a Mercedes reserve driver, was not the team's choice to replace Logan Sargent. Logan Sargent's stint with Williams ended abruptly after a series of disappointing performances and a particularly heavy crash during the Dutch Grand Prix. The incident at Zandvoort made it clear that Sargent's time with the team was up, leaving Williams in a tight spot with just a few races left in the season. As the team searched for a suitable replacement, two prominent names emerged, Mick Schumacher and Red Bull reserve driver Liam Lawson. However, Williams opted for Franco Colapinto from their driver academy instead, passing over both Schumacher and Lawson. David Coulthard, a former F1 driver and current commentator, weighed in on the situation, suggesting that Williams' decision was influenced more by a desire to invest in their academy talent rather than picking a more experienced driver like Schumacher. In a recent interview, Coulthard implied that the team was driven by a mindset of anything is better than Logan Sargent. He elaborated that Williams was likely looking to the future and preferred someone from their own ranks over a driver like Schumacher, who, while capable, was seen as a short-term solution rather than a long-term prospect. Adding fuel to the fire, Williams team principal James Wowles made blunt remarks about Schumacher's abilities. Wowles described Schumacher as, not special, a comment that understandably ruffled some feathers. He clarified that while Schumacher was competent, he didn't stand out in a way that warranted immediate deployment over their own young talents. Wowles' comments drew criticism from various quarters, including from Corinna Schumacher, Mick's mother, who confronted Wowles directly at the Italian Grand Prix. The decision to go with Cola Pinto, who made his debut at Monza with a respectable finish, further underscores Williams' strategy of nurturing their in-house talent. This move reflects a broader trend in F1 where teams are increasingly inclined to develop their own young drivers rather than opting for established names, especially when the immediate benefits seem uncertain. As the season progresses, all eyes will be on how Colapinto performs and whether this choice pays off for Williams. For Schumacher, it's another setback in a challenging F1 career, but one can only hope that opportunities will arise in the future for him to showcase his skills on the grid once again. Stay subscribed for more videos.